up everyone welcome back to my channel it's been quite a while i haven't been on here much but today i am taking an adventure i'm going to the van gogh immersion in boston and i decided to take you guys with me that's gonna be a lot of fun i meant to take the train but it's two hours to get there and maybe i don't have time i need to get there by 5 30 and right now it's like three o'clock and Two hours and 30 minutes we can't do that over here so i'm going to drive which is like an hour and 15 minutes so why don't you guys come with me i don't know how i am gonna film inside the museum because they're pretty strict with these you know footages but we will get some footage let's see if you can check the fit <laughs> oh yeah you can't see the fit but I just got here it was a tough ride it was a tough ride and I did not remind myself how stressful it is to drive in Boston like the roads are so short not short but they're just too close to each other and if you're not really careful you might hit into a car and so on and so forth and parking here is ridiculous I just found a parking I'm gonna show you guys right there I don't know if you can see it parking to our limit so that's what i'm going to do i don't know if i have to pay for anything i do not want them to tow so that's something i am not anticipating at all but let's go gosh you can see my face i'm gonna find some food to eat and i don't have to pay for parking which is a plus god is so good
Hi guys! So I am finally back from my little museum tour. It was great. It was great. I don't know. I wish I, I I want to relive it all over again because you know it was it was very fun. It was phenomenal. It was great. It was great. Um, I did write a few points down that I wanted to I wanted to point out because you know I don't want to put all these videos in there and not you know say something that I actually took from the place because there was a lot of things a lot of cool things I really like the immersion room where they kind of made us feel what the painter felt when he was doing his um, painting the sunflowers the bedroom all these other really cool paint and artwork um i like how they made it live so we could again feel it and um some of them were a little too the lights were flipping i'm like i don't want to get any seizure i was just you know blinking but again i feel like for me the way i understood it was for they want us to kind of experience what he was feeling you know he, he was feeling quite unstable most of the time he'd be having episodes and that would lead him to paint detailed um, artwork that would now become very popular and very famous for people a lot of people to like i'm going to find a van gogh painting i'm going to find a van gogh painting this is really cool i think um it's something worth living if unless you have any sort of um reactions that will trigger any seizures please don't go into that room because you you might have a seizure another thing he found beauty in nature despite his sickness so like i like how he drew some flowers and he drew when they were like a little weak and i think some flowers are used to growing or regrowing you can find a connection between that and life the life cycle in general um sometimes if you're going through something and um, you can regrow and then you know become a fresh again you don't have to your, your life don't have to be all like all miserable it doesn't have to be i think sometimes we could have some sort of control over our lives that only us should dictate for we see the beauty in the things that we want to see and, and not just what we're going through sometimes we use what we're going through to prevent other things that would actually help us or would actually heal us and we just kind of kick that away so I think we should be able to see the light in a lot of things despite the darkness that we see in ourselves he saw a lot of dark perspectives because of his psychosis but he definitely saw the light in a lot of things and you can see it through his paintings that he used a lot of different colors a lot of the contrast is, is very sharp and and precise you you would see that this is a real artist despite his problems and people artists without um, depression or these major mental health problems that does not even compare to him you know so my, my whole point is you really shouldn't let what you're going through dictate you and you should be able to find beauty in the things that make you you the things that make you yourself and the things that you adore and you just like spending your time in that area one last thing i i really really like and stood out it stood out to me was what would life really be if we didn't have the courage to start something so i think for, I, I resonate with that a lot because um i would want to do something and i would postpone it i would be like i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it next week and tell me what by the time i realized it's actually like two months uh, past then three months past but time is really not waiting so my whole point time is really not waiting for you and you really want to see that and start whatever you want to do now so had he not like learn how to paint had he not um, use this talent because he spent a lot of time studying his criteria studying his methods for watercolor and water painting and oil painting and that kind of made him stand out because you know Sometimes I feel like even when a voice tells me to paint, even when a voice tells me I cannot paint, that's when I paint, you know, so that I can silence the voice. So I think sometimes the fear in us not wanting to start something because we think we cannot do it, I think that's when you should do it. So when someone like literally be like, you can't do this, and that's when you like, you know what? <laughs> 
we're not listening to you today and then you can you know go ahead and do it and just make sure you are just make sure that whatever you're doing is something that you would like to do and not just doing it to prove someone else wrong and I that's just a lot of problem that sometimes we just see someone oh my god he said I can't do this I'm gonna do and prove, and prove him or her wrong but then at the end of the day that's not something you really want to do so that's something you need to be careful with that's it um I think you already saw from the videos the clips it was it was it was a good time it was a good time I can tell you that but um thank you so much for being here with me if you got here this far Danke schon. If you didn't, still danke. But thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment, give a thumbs up, and see you here on another time.